What's up, MTC fans? Welcome back to the Lockout Men podcast show. And if you like what I do over here, and if this channel brings you any type of value, yo, why don't you hit that like button, subscribe button, and any other buttons that show support for this channel. Yo, in today's episode of the MTC Company Spotlight, man, this is going to be a special edition because this one, is going to be brought to you by an influencer from TikTok. Yes, sir. This young lady, she only been in a she only been in the game for like maybe about two years. She started her career with Swift, and she got a she got a good, interesting Instagram. I mean, that's where I'm seeing uh, all of this young lady's content from. But she's she's blowing up on TikTok right now, but. Her and her co-driver decided to give another company a chance to see if that company works out for them. In today's MTC Spotlight, we're going to be looking at KLLM, y'all. Yes, sir, KLLM. Y'all know what KLLM is about. But, but, disclaimer, this is this young lady's experience. Your experience might be different than hers. All right. She only, she, she only talking about what happened to her and her co-driver during their small time with KLLM. Without further ado, we're going to go ahead and let V Lee. You can see, you can catch her on her TikTok at I am V Lee or her Instagram. I am V Lee. Let her get into it, y'all. Hold on. I'm going to try to do this video without getting out of character, but y'all, this company has taken me to a place that I don't want to be in, and I put in my two-week notice last week. I tried to work out my two weeks, but I can't even do it, y'all. I never thought I would say a company is worse than Swift, but this is worse than Swift. Don't y'all ever in y'all life go work for KLLM. I don't care if it's the last resort. There is plenty of other companies that would treat you the way you want to be treated. And the only reason why I really came over here is because of my co-driver. I'm like, I had been hearing stuff, but I'm like, okay, maybe it ain't what it seems. It's everything what it seems, okay? Listen to reviews, people. It started since day one. They gave us a smoker's truck. I got in here and couldn't breathe. I'm going down the highway feeling like I'm finna pass out with 80,000 pounds. Do y'all know how unsafe that is? How dangerous that is? If I would've passed out and ran off the road because of some smoke smell, I done sprayed some of everything in here and it still smell like smoke two weeks later. The air went out a couple of days after we got the truck. Do y'all know what it feel like to sleep in the back in 90 to 100 degree weather with no AC? And then we didn't get none of the materials that we needed as drivers when we first started, like padlocks, load locks, EFS checks, uh, handbooks, nothing. We showing up to Lowe's without the proper materials. They asking us where our load locks at. We looking stupid. It's the company. Dispatch rule. I mean, they think they can talk to people crazy. And I'm sorry, you ain't finna talk to me like no dog. You, I'm gonna meet you with that same energy. I don't care if you're the CEO of a company, I will be respected and I will demand my respect. I don't care how I get it, I'm gonna get it. The fuel card, you show up to get your fuel, your car is steady declining. You call them and ask them what's wrong. They got attitudes like, I can't approve the transaction, I need you. That's what I need you for, that's your job. Then, if you don't feel safe going down their fuel route and you go another way or something, they fussing at you about, oh, you ain't stay on the fuel route. Baby, that, that route is not safe for me. So what you're telling me is your discount is more important than my safety? If you don't care about me, I don't care about you. We keep getting dispatched to Lowe's that's already late. They swapping us out three to four times a day. We taking a fall for it because y'all done assigned us to a load that's already late and then we got to get there and sit. We done sat three times in two weeks. We running as a team. This truck is never supposed to stop running at all. As a company, you shouldn't want this truck to stop. The mileage pay is complete BS, y'all. And then we getting the miles of a solo driver. We can't survive off that. That I got to fight to get reimbursed for stuff that I done paid for. I done paid for trailer wash, um, scale tickets. Why do I have to jump through hoops to get my money back? And then they put both of our bonuses on my check. And so they taxed everything together. I call payroll because I'm trying to split the bonus evenly. They can't even tell me what the, the bonus would have been with the tax deductions. And I'm like, how you in payroll and you can't tell me this? What is y'all doing in them? But don't y'all ever go to KLLM because KLLM can K-I-S-S -S my complete ass. Jeez. 
again, this is her experience with KLLM. Again, your experience may vary. But listen, though, what do you guys think about KLLM? Leave your comments in the comments below. KLLM drivers, we shouting out to you. Is your experience like this young lady and her co-driver? Let us know in the comments below. Is it good? Is it bad? Is it, is it worth it? I don't know, but come on and let us know. What do you, what, what's you guys' experience with KLLM? All right, that's going to do it for today's MTC Spotlight. Shout out to I am V Lee. Make sure you guys go and follow her on TikTok and Instagram. Stay tuned for the next MTC Spotlight coming soon. something in the air tonight. Got a feeling coming over me. I swear that this is that place to be in the water in the